welcome in our next video. Um, so we follow on. Um, we will be doing the same things as we did uh, last few um, classes, but we have one more step, okay? One more thing added. As you can notice in here, we have a bracket, okay? So we need to solve this equation for y, so we need to find the value of y uh, using the rules we've met so far, okay? So we know that we need to keep um, letters on the left and numbers on the right and whatever we do on the left this is left side we have to do the same thing on the right side of the equation okay and here we have a bracket so first of all the first step is um, do the brackets remember if we have a number beside the bracket we need to multiply this number by every single term in a bracket so we need to multiply 5 by y and 5 by minus y okay so you can draw the arrows and then we won't lose anything so 5 by y is 5y five, 5 by minus 2 is minus 10 equals minus 25 okay so the first step is done now time for the next step so we need to tidy up a little bit so there is another rule uh, and here letters on the left numbers on the right okay um, we have 5y minus 10x equals minus 25 so we can leave 5a 5y as it is we need to get rid of minus 10 so we need to do the opposite okay the inverse operation what is adding so we have 5y we need to add 10 here and add 10 here okay so then we don't have it anymore equals so we you need to follow the equation all the time okay and then here we have minus 25 plus 10 what is minus 15 time for the next rule we've met so far so if we have 5 multiplied by y we need to divide both sides by a number in front of uh, the x okay so divide by 5 divide by 5 y equals and then negative divide by positive is negative 15 divide by 5 is true. done. Okay, so let's try another example. So we have 3 multiplied by x minus 2 equals <coughs> 5 multiplied by x minus 2. So first of all, uh, we have our rules in here. Um, first, work out the brackets, okay? So the same thing we did a few um, lessons back, sorting out uh, the expressions. So 3 multiplied by x plus minus 2 is 3 by x and 3 by minus 2. And the same on the other side, 5 by x and 5 by minus 2, okay? It's minus 2 and minus 2 in here. So bear it in mind. And watch out the signs. 3 by x is 3x. 3 by minus 2 minus 6 equals... 5 by x, 5x, and 5 by minus 2 is minus 10, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have the first step. Next step, we need to tidy up. So letters on the left side, numbers on the right side. So first of all, we need to get rid of minus 6. We don't want minus 6 on the left. We want it on the right. Um, and then we need to get rid of 5x. We also don't want to have it on right side. So let's start off with, uh, with minus 6. And remember, whatever you do on the left side, you need to do the same on the other side, okay? Plus 6. Plus 6. You always 
to the inverse operation. If that's minus, you need to add 6 to cancel it out. If you have plus, you need to take it away, okay? So then we don't have it anymore in here. That's all we need. 3x equals, so follow equation all the time, 5x and then you have minus 10 plus 6, what is minus 4, okay? Now, we have 5x in here. We don't want it, so we need to get rid of it. That's positive 5x, so we need to take it away. Okay, so minus 5x and minus 5x. So, we have... 3x minus 5x minus 2x equals, we don't have it anymore, and minus 4, okay? Now, what's the next rule? We need to divide both sides by the number in front of the x. So we have minus 3 in front of the x, so now we need to divide it by minus 2, and divide it by minus 2, okay? And then we don't have it anymore, that's all we need. x equals, now negative, divide by negative is positive, and 4 by 2 is just 2. Take it into your copy, please. And this is the last question for today, okay? So 2 minus 6 multiplied by 2 minus z equals 5 plus 5 and multiplied by z plus 3, okay? So we need to start with the brackets first. Why? Why we cannot do 2 minus 6 or 5 plus 5? Look at BMDAS rule, okay? So this is multiplication, the same in here, and multiplication goes first, okay, in front of addition or subtraction, okay, addition or subtraction uh, date last we can do, okay, so first of all remember we always need to work out the brackets, okay, and we have all our rules in here, so let's start with the brackets, 6 by 2, 6 by minus z, and then here 5 by z and 5 by 3, okay, We don't do anything with 2 and 5. And we have minus 6 in here, okay? So we have 2. And then minus 6 multiplied by 2 is minus 12. Minus 6 multiplied by minus z, so negative by negative, positive, 6z equals 5, stays what it is, so... Uh, make sure you follow the equation all the time, okay? Then 5 multiplied by z is 5z and 5 multiplied by 3, 15. Okay, brackets done. Now we need to tidy up a little bit. Time for the next step. So we want all letters on the left and all numbers on the right, okay? But first of all, we can just simplify it a little bit. So we can add it. And the same in here, okay? So 2 minus 12 is minus 10. Then we have plus 6z equals 5 plus 15, 20 plus 5z. Okay? Now we need to get rid of minus 10 and we need to get rid of, of 5z. Okay? If we don't want to have minus 10 on the side, it's negative, so we need to add 10. So plus 10, and following our rules, what you do on one side, you need to do exactly the same to the other side, to keep it in balance all the time. Okay, now, so we don't have it anymore on this side, we have just positive 6z equals, and then 20 plus 10 is 30, plus 5z. Now we need to get rid of 5z, okay, this is positive 5z, so we need to just take it away, minus 5z, and the same to the other side, minus 5z, 
So we have 6z minus 5 gives you 1z, so we just z equals 30, and we don't have it anymore. Done! Solved, okay? So try to do it in your copy by yourself, and then you can check with the video. So for our summary, you can just follow simple steps. Step one, just work out the brackets, okay? Brackets first. Then step two, keep letters on the left, numbers on the right. So tidy up a little bit, okay? And the next, solve for X or any letter you have. Uh, remember, if you have um, a letter, let's say 3X, you need to divide it at the end by the number beside X in front of the X, okay? Um, and remember, whatever you do to one side, you need to do exactly the same thing to the other side. And just a quick learning check. Okay, so try to do these three questions for homework as well. If you have any questions, you can ask me tomorrow um, and we follow on.